Raytheon Secures awarded a $21,164,178 firm fixed price undefinitized contract for the production of the Navy Marine Corps Expeditionary Ship Interdiction System, NMESIS, Naval Strike Missile, NSM, Launcher Unit, NLU, and Weapon Control System, WCS, Production Representative Model. NMESIS is a land-based missile launcher platform that provides the fleet marine force with an anti-ship capability. NMESIS integrates a NLU, capable of launching two NSMs, onto a remotely operated ground unit for Expeditionary Fires Carrier. The NLU is controlled by the WCS located externally in a command and control vehicle. Work will be performed in Kongsberg, Norway and Tucson, Arizona. Work is expected to be completed in April 2023. Marine Corps Systems Command, Quantico, Virginia, is the contracting activity. The Marine Corps NMESIS will provide the Marine Littoral Regiment, MLR, with ground based anti ship capability to facilitate sea denial and control while persisting within the enemy's weapons engagement zone. The Naval Strike Missile is a long-range, precision strike weapon that seeks and destroys enemy ships at distances greater than 100 nautical miles. The Naval Strike Missile eludes enemy radar and defense systems by performing evasive maneuvers and flying at sea-skimming altitude. NSM uses an advanced seeker for precise targeting and carries a 500-pound class warhead with a programmable fuse. The Navy and Marine Corps are continuing to find new uses and potential adaptations for the Naval Strike Missile (NSM), which arms the littoral combat ship (LCS). The Marine Corps wants to widen its mission envelope to encompass a greater sphere of attack possibilities such as amphibious attacks, more varied maritime attacks and mobile ground-based anti-ship missile fires. The NSM, a Raytheon Kongsberg weapon in development for many years, arms the LCS and provides an over-the-horizon attack option to the ship. This is something that gives commanders the ability to track and destroy incoming anti-ship missiles at safer ranges. Additional uses for the weapon include the engineering of new variants that can fire from land to destroy anti-ship missiles from different vantage points. Additional adaptations to the weapon include wider distribution across the LCS fleet and perhaps various electronic enhancements or software upgrades to improve guidance, reliability or range. The NSM first emerged in 2012. It consists of a 156-inch missile powered by a launch phase solid propellant rocket motor booster and a turbojet engine fueled by JP-10. This enables it to fly at subsonic speeds for long periods of time. Most weapons are rarely referred to as stealthy, however, the NSM was designed to have a lower radar signature by virtue of being able to attack close to the surface in sea-skimming mode, essentially below the aperture of many ship-based radars. Additionally, the weapon has a range of up to 100 nautical miles as well as advanced seeker technology, 